Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to make this beautiful, super happy frog. Look how cute is this. It's 5 centimeters only, a uh, little frog. And it's a prince, as you can see by its crown. Super good. For this pattern I used 100% uh, cotton yarn and a 2 millimeters crochet hook and stuffing material. More details about the exact yarn I used you can check in the description below. There is a link to my blog post where you can find also the written pattern for this frog. Okay? You can also see in the description all the stitches I used and there is a tutorial for each stitch. If you like the videos that I'm publishing here, please consider subscribing to my channel, that will help a lot. And leave me a thumbs up for this video. Let's begin. So we will start with the green yarn, or whichever color you decide to choose. And we will make a magic ring, or a magic loop. Super good. I did it very slow, so you can see exactly how I do mine. But if you need further assistance for the magic ring, there is a link in the description below, below with the tutorial, okay? So for the first row, you will crochet 6 single crochet in a magic ring. I was just working in the Megurumi with stripes and I can see now that I recorded this that I'm shooting some with under yarn and over yarn but just proceed with your single crochet the way that you usually do or you can also go to the description below where I show you how I single crochet but I can see it now that because my latest pattern was I was doing yarn under because of the color changes and stripes I now did a confusion here but I hope you understand. If not, just <laughs> let me know. Okay, so for a second row, you will make six increases. So you will have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the row. Six single crochet means that you will crochet two single crochet inside the same stitch, which means that you will increase one single crochet inside that stitch. Again, if you need more help with the increases, there is a tutorial in the link below. You can check that out. Okay, so I finished. This is how it's supposed to be looking right now. I will add my stitch marker here. I use just a normal piece of yarn. And fasten off our tail so we secure the beginning of our toy. And how I do, I just insert the needle around the first six stitches. That's it, super good. Okay, so now for the third row, you will crochet one single crochet in one in increase, which means one single crochet here, 
and then on the next one you're gonna make one increase one single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase six times okay you'll have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row and i suggest you to count how many stitches you have every time you finish a row that's just a way to keep on track okay super good so this is my last increase adding my stitch marker and next row so one single crochet one single crochet one increase one single crochet one single crochet one increase so for fourth row you will crochet two single crochet one increase repeat that six times and have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row Here I'm showing you very small and detailed, so we make sure to make this correct and together. Super good. Now my last increase and this is how it should be looking like now. Add my stitch marker at my last stitch of the row and proceeding for next one. So it's the same pattern. One, two, three single crochet, one increase. One, two, three single crochet, one increase. Okay. So for row number five, you'll have three single crochet one increase three single crochet one increase and you will continue repeating that for six times great moving fast forward making my last increase and moving on for the next row okay so now one two three four single crochet one increase one two three four single crochet one increase okay so for row number six you will crochet four single crochet one increase and repeat that for six times by the end of this row you should have 36 stitches Super good, my last increase. And here we have our detail, super nice. So let's move on. You see here the stitches? Same pattern. One, two, three, four, five, one increase. One, two, three, four, five, one increase. So for next row, you will crochet. Five single crochet one increase 
Repeat that for six times and at the end of this row you should have 42 stitches. very nice ending of the row last increase super good so here you'll make one two three four five six single crochet one increase and you will repeat that six times you will have a total of 48 stitches at the end of this row That's very nice. We arrive here at the end. And now we move on for row number nine. And here you'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one increase here. So you can see it here. It's where are the increases. You see this one, one increase. So you can start to pay attention on this so you get familiarized on finding where are your increases. But this comes with the time, don't worry. Soon to be you will be seeing all of the stitches. Where is it? Okay, now we have the shape of our head frog and we'll just grow the length of it. So now you don't have increases nor decreases. You will make 54 single crochet from row 10 to 16. Here it's super easy. You just go counting how many rows you've done. And I will catch you up at the end of row 16. So super easy. Press play in whichever series you're watching because this is when you don't need to pay that much of attention. But I always advise you to count how many stitches you have at the end of the row so you just make sure that everything is okay. Okay. So this I have my detail, this is the length, everything it's done, very nice. So we will move on for row number 17 and for this one we will start at the decreases, okay? So for next row you make 7 single crochets here and then 1 decrease in these 2 stitches. So 7 single crochet, 1 decrease, you will repeat that for 6 times and have a total of 48 stitches at the end of this row. If you need help with the invisible decreases for Amigurumi, there is a link in the description below that you can find in details a video tutorial and also there is a written tutorial if you prefer on my blog post. Basically, you here you see, I take just the front loops of the two stitches 
and I make the single crochet normally. All right. So let me just do it once more here for you again. Just need to add this single crochet that I also erase. Okay. So here, the front loop of the two stitches. Front loop. Again, the front loop of the stitch next to it. So three loops on your needle. Yarn over, inside the loops. Yarn over, inside the loop again. Okay, two stitches became one. I will move fast forward to the end of this row, so we move for next row. Okay, super good, here I am. And for the next row, you will crochet six single crochet here and one decrease in these next stitches. Okay, so six single crochet, one decrease, you repeat six times, and you have a total of 42 stitches at the end of this row. And this is basically how we are going to proceed until we arrive with 12 stitches left. So on each row, you will remove six stitches. Good, I'm here on my last stitch. Very nice. And moving on for next row. So now five single crochet and one decrease here. Okay. And re repeat that for again six times. You'll have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this row. Okay, now arriving at my last decrease, super good. And let's move on fast for our next row. One, two, three, four, one decrease. So for next row, you'll work four single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and have a total of 30 stitches. So here you know how to do, I'll fast forward. Great, so now we'll start row number 21. So here you'll we'll make three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row.
Okay, this is super great. Let's shape up a little bit so you can see. Very nice. So moving on for our row number 22. And here you will crochet one, two single crochet, one decrease. So you will have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row. That's super great. Arriving at my last decrease. And good. Now we will start adding a little bit of stuffing material because we are near to close our toy. Okay, let's just shape up this a little bit and start adding the stuffing material. I like to add a good amount of stuffing material when I'm crocheting for my toys, but when I'm crocheting for babies especially, I like to make it more soft, but then it's when I use acrylic wool also. Okay, so now we have our head already filled, and let's move on for our last row. So for row number 23, you'll crochet one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that six times and have a total of 12 stitches at the end of this row and we will start fastening off our head. Okay, this is looking great, very nice. Let's shaping up a little bit because we squeeze a lot when we are knitting and cut this a little bit. Not a little bit, just cut. Okay. <laughs> and now we will fasten off, pull the yarn, this one. Good. And let's start closing. I use this needle and it has it is a pointed needle. Uh, you can have the one that don't have this sharp edge. So I'll use this side of my needle. Because you want to go exactly in the middle of the stitch, you want to take just the front loop of the stitch. So I'll use this part that will not break the stitch in half or insert the needle in the middle of the yarn, you know, you want to start insert the needle in the middle of the two loops, back loop and front loop. So here you take just the front loop and that's how you're going to fasten off. Just take the front loop of each and every stitch. Okay, that's great this is my last and now you pull tight you see 
This is why you don't want to use a pointed needle here, because in case you break some yarn on half, you insert your needle in the middle of the yarn, this will be very very horrible to close. So use a non-pointed needle or just this head part as I did. And now I will use my pointed side, but this is just to fasten off. I will insert the needle taking two by two stitches here. And here we don't mind if we break the yarn in half, that's okay. Good. I'll just hide this a little bit. And good. We have our head. Very nice. If you squeeze the lot, just squeeze it back on its shape. And let's start making the eyes. And then the fingers okay so first for the eyes you will you will start with the magic ring you see super good magic ring and you can crochet six single crochet inside this magic ring again I just want to remind you that there is a link for video tutorials of everything that you may uh, need and if you have any questions just leave me in the comment box below um, I'm learning how to make video tutorials video patterns teaching how to uh, crochet so if something is unclear it's always good to know okay now let's close And move on for row number two. You'll make six increases, having a total of 12 stitches at the end of this row. This is very nice, last increase, let's close it better and I will just fasten off this real quick. Great, so let's move on for rule number three. For the third row, you will crochet one single crochet one increase and repeat that for six times you'll have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row i'm trying to make it very slow so it can be seen a very nice but this is a very fast frog to make one increase so one single crochet and one increase good now my last increase and that's it we have our shape here now we will crochet just 18 stitches without increases. So for row 4 to 6, you will make 18 single crochet. Okay? So I will start here and I will meet you up at the end of row 6. So we can cut and fasten off. Okay, 
good so here I am at my last stitch and great now you see we have uh, the shape of the eye that we want and here I will just cut the yarn with the tail remember to leave a piece of yarn so you can sew I will send this yarn to the back so I just insert in the stitch next to the finished one and you make another one following the same steps okay moving on now for the hands or the toes so we'll start again with the magic ring I believe that by now we already did a couple of magic rings <laughs> and you will crochet six single crochet inside the magic ring That's super good, we have six here. Now here is a bit different, for row number two you will make one increase, two single crochet and you repeat that two times, so you'll have a total of eight stitches. So for row two we will increase two stitches. very nice um, let's just let's just secure this yarn it's a very small detail that we are crocheting good adjust the stitches and we will now just crochet a length of the finger so for this finger you will make row three to six eight single crochet take a slow here find your stitch nicely don't rush it can be challenging for some people because it's a small detail it's hard to hold and it's hard a little bit to see and to find the stitches here but don't worry, it will be all good. <laughs> so you're moving and cutting to the last stitch of my row. Not last, but last row. Super good. And then like this we have our first finger. Here you can cut you don't need to leave a tail for sewing, we are not sewing anything. But you need to fasten off nicely this um, finger so it doesn't open when you connect them together. So here I will make a small knot. That's great, let's hide this inside. I don't add stuffing material here so Let's just hide and here you make another one you see you follow the same instructions and you make another one so we have the two extremes finger and we'll make the third one here in the middle so for this one again you will follow the same instructions Ta-da! you see I have a magic red ring here, <laughs> a finger here but for this one you will crochet two rows above so here you go until uh, row number six and this one you go until row number eight so here I'll add two more rows
Okay, this is super good. Let's just hide this inside. Nice. And you see, this is the middle finger. So we'll crochet around the two fingers and we'll have all of them placed like this. Like this together. So how are we gonna do this? We will start crocheting our first crochet inside one stitch of the finished finger. Let us just add here the stitch marker so we know exactly which one our last stitch will be. And here for the first single crochet you will crochet inside one stitch of this finished finger. So here you will have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row crocheting all the three fingers together. So let's start here our first stitch. So you'll crochet here eight single crochet around this finger. I will go slowly here and I will show you all the process. So we do it together and you don't miss anything. So just make sure that you are crocheting eight single crochet inside this first finger. Super good. So we have our eight crochet single crochet here. What's gonna happen is here you will crochet four single crochet. Okay, so just find out what is your first stitch. Don't confuse with the stitch marker you did on the first stitch here. I'm sorry, it's out of focus. Again, I'm learning how to do this, so I hope I evolve. <laughs> So one single crochet, two, three, and four. Now we'll, we will add the other finger, okay? So you will remain four single crochet on the other side. So let's add this one inside any stitch of this finished ring, uh, finger and here you will crochet eight single crochet all around the finished finger I am kind of hugging the camera while shooting so my hands move too much I'll figure out something better. Okay, almost finished. Count and make sure you crochet all the eight stitches of this finger, okay? So now, after the eight stitches here, you should have four stitches left on the middle finger, right? You crochet four, one, two, three, four. You crocheted four stitches on the other side first, and now you will crochet four stitches on this side. And this will complete our 24 stitches. Eight stitches of each finger crocheted together. Ta-da! Our last one. That's great. Look at this. Super good. See? You made it. 24 stitches. Now you will crochet just 24 stitches. Look how good is this. <laughs> Let's add our stitch mark. 
I made sure to go slowly into this because I know it can be very challenging. It's small and it's crocheting together. Okay, so let's move on for next row and for row number 10 and 11 you will crochet 24 single crochet. Great, so I'm here at the end of the rows and now for next row we will make the creases. So here you will crochet two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, we know that already, and you will have a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row. Last decrease, that's great. We are almost finishing. Super good. Now for the next row, uh, you will make just the length of the hand, so no decreases here, just single crochet. So row 13 and 14, 18 single crochet. Super easy. Great, this is good. Oh, fine. Now let's cut here, leave a tail for sewing. All right, and make another one following the same instructions. Ta da! <laughs> we will start now sewing our parts. Look at this. You can see it already so good. For this I use the help of pins. Same distance here, looks great. So you add, you fasten pins, <laughs> it's looking like eyes. You use pins to fasten so you can sew this without moving, okay? I will show you here how I start my sewing and how I finished. So what's going to happen is you will start uh, sewing the piece and before finished you will add some stuffing material. So just take a look here how I'm doing. Just make sure here to take stitch by stitch. Don't skip one stitch that can make look a little bit not nice so make sure you're taking all the stitches you're sewing in all the stitches
All right. Now here, before finishing to sew all of the stitches, add a little bit of stuffing material, just a little bit, just so the eye have structure, okay? Here, this is super good. And let's finish sewing this eye. And fasten off. This looks very nice. Okay. This is great. So let's do the other one. Magic! Tada! And now let's start with the feet. Look at this, this is so nice. So we'll add this here and fasten with pins so we find a very nice position to sew okay this looks super good to me and let's start sewing so here again is the same thing I will show you how I make and then I will sew the other one. This is super good. Here I will sew a little bit closer to the head so the hand it's not moving too much down. In the description below there is a link to the written pattern and I tell there the exact row that I am sewing this here, okay? So if you need to check that out. This is super good, looking very nice, and I will sew the other one, and I'll come back here so we start embroidering the face. Ta-da! It's ready. So, this is looking very nice. What we will do now is to sew the mouth, the big mouth here, and the eyes. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? I will use again pins to find the best position for my very big smiling mouth 
and again there is the exact uh, place where I sew where I embroider the mouth in the written pattern in the description below so you can check that out okay, this is looking super good to me Okay, this is very nice. Now I will take just the surface of the stitches so my big smile mouth stays on its place. Good, just the surface of the stitches. Move to the next side. Okay, this is super good. Again, let's fix this side of the smile. And fast enough. This is looking very nice. Super good. So I show you how to make the mouth and basically the same thing you will do for the eyes. Okay. All the details, it's in the written pattern. And, but here I show you already how to do the mouth so it's basically the same thing and this video is getting very very big already so I'll just do this and I'll come back here with you super good now we start the nose so for the nose trying to figure it out what is the center stitches of your toy so you can make two lines which will be the nose of this frog in the rhythm pattern i tell you exact what is this position but here you can just have a look you see i'm figuring out what is the central part and this is super good look at this Look at this, beautiful, very nice, very nice. Now we will start knitting the crown. So the crown is very simple. You will start with the slip knot and you will chain 10. For next row you will start crocheting from the first first chain you crochet so you will close a cur uh, circle here so you will make 10 single crochet inside of each of the chain closing a circle here This is super good. Now 
now for the next row again we will crochet 10 single crochet Okay, this is looking great. How cute is this? Now for the third and last row. Let me just add a stitch marker here. And here for the third row, this is where you're going to make one single crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, repeat two times, three double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, one single crochet, chain one, repeat two times, and you will finish with a slip stitch. Super great, that's it. It's a very simple pattern, it's just a lot of changes, but it's super easy, the crown to make. You can just follow the written pattern, I think it's even better. <laughs> but anyways, let me send this tail to the end. Yes. And now we will just sew in the head of our frog again i always use pins to fasten my details in the correct position i will just add my finger here so it it helps me better to hold the toy and you crochet around again taking every stitch every of the 10 stitch of the crown Okay, almost done. Look at this, so beautiful. Good, I will hide this from here. Hiding, hiding. Great. And that's it, this is our finished frog. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you made it so far, leave me a thumbs up. See you on the next video. Bye!